What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and I finally got myself the FMS K10. Let's check it out. Alright, so it has been a while since FMS has come out with this thing and I have been wanting to get it. So let's open this guy up and check it out. And of course, in FMS fat, and of course, in FMS fashion, the box that it comes in, nicely protected. And the first thing we meet is going to be the controller. It is a very nice controller. It is very different to the controller that comes with the Blazer. Now the truck. In the box you get the truck, you also get charger and T-wrench. Alright, so FMS did a great job with this thing. The body on it looks absolutely awesome. The fact that they made the tailgate, the fact that they made the tailgate too open is absolutely awesome so you can end up throwing stuff in here and if it hangs out the back it hangs out the back which is a nice little feature that they did this thing just looks absolutely awesome though now the doors do not open as we all know and here in the front is where your battery is stored and your on off switch now as we know this thing does have lights front and rear which we're actually going to put the battery in which is the battery it comes already inside there so we're just going to plug it in put some batteries into the transmitter and we're going to see what this thing can do all right so the transmitter does end up taking four double a batteries that goes in under here open that one door open another door and that is where your batteries are going. It takes four triple A batteries in this guy. All right, everybody. So this thing does have lights and you are able to control them on and off. So if you guys see up here, you have, a, if you guys see up here, you have an AB mode and on A mode, you can do whatever you want to do. You switch it over to B mode. And if you hit the throttle button right there it also says LED you hit that uh, put it like that and once you hit it your lights will come on those are lows you got max and you have hazards that only work on the front they do not blink in the rear so if you guys check that out like that and if you hit that button again it turns all the lights off now just holding it, you're not, it's not going to do anything. But there you go. You got your high beams and your hazards, which I kind of prefer to have the hazards on than the turn signals. Again, I am not a fan of the turn signals. But this thing, everybody, this thing looks absolutely awesome. I love the way it looks. Now, I think I have plans for this thing. Now, there, this is not my first FMS, thankfully. And um, I love what FMS has been doing with their rigs. Awesome, absolutely awesome with what they've been doing. So let's go ahead, take this guy outside, and let's see how he performs. I also have started doing a little bit of work on the crawler course. So that's where this guy's gonna go we're gonna test out the crawler course and that's my daughter right there we're gonna go test out the new crawler course say hi say hi everybody hi. <laughs> so we're gonna go test out the new crawler course and um, check out this thing and see what it does let's go check it out all right you guys so the original crawler course that I have made that 
I'm kind of technically still working on is, as you guys can see, it's right here. So all this area right here, that is a crawler course that I have made. Um, but it's still kind of like a work in progress. There's still stuff that I do want to do over there. But if you guys check out this area here, this is another course that I'm working on. Um, I was hesitant on doing anything here, but I figure, you know what? Why not? So check this out. So as you guys can see, again, like I said, it's still a work in progress. Um, a lot of work in progress here. So I'm, we're going to test out the Chevy K10 on that course right there. And we're going to see how this thing is going to do. And uh, we'll go from there. Hope you guys enjoy it.
All right, you guys, and there it is, the FMS Chevy K10. Fully licensed, by the way, and I gotta say, this thing did pretty well. Um, there were a couple things that I kind of lost the instruction manual <laughs> for this thing, so I don't really know exactly what everything in um, on the transmitter does, because I can't find the instruction manual for it. But I did find out that when you turn that on and you turn on the truck. Now when we turn that on, I came to find out that the steering angle is actually, there's actually more steering angle than what I was actually using. So I don't remember, I think it was this one. So as I was running along with it, I came to find out that there's three modes to the servo, uh, to the steering angle. There's actually three modes to it, and I didn't realize that till after I actually made the that part of the video when I and I was just sitting here messing around with it. And yeah, so I came to find that out. Now there's another button right here that I don't know at all what that does. No clue whatsoever. So let's turn those lights off. But I do think it's kind of cool that the front of the uh, controller has some lights on there and it kind of looks like a sports car. So that's a nifty little thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, this thing looks great. And the tires, wheels that are on here, the tires, wheels that are on here are actually the same wheels that were on the K5 Blazer, which, Mine looks like this now. <laughs> so I'm actually going to keep the K5 Blazer looking like a Blazer, especially now that I have the K10 because I was going to transform this, take off the cat and just leave it as a pickup. But I like the fact that I have the K10 now and uh, yeah, so yeah, and I'm a Ford guy. These things look absolutely awesome. I love the way that they look. Now, there's a couple mods that I want to do to this thing. Uh, it did do great out there. It did pretty, it did great. It did pretty well. The electronics in here are not that bad, actually. I wanted to test this thing out and see what, what it needed, realistically. Um, I really wanted to see what parts it needed. So I really wanted to see what parts it needed uh, to be able to upgrade this thing. The one thing that I can say that this thing actually really needs is a lift. It definitely needs a lift. Um, I already scuffed up the body of it right here because it flipped over. Uh, it definitely needs a lift and uh, some bigger tires these tires are not not that bad they could be a little grippier but they are not bad tires to be quite honest with you these are cooper well they actually have copper on here it says copper but it's probably a make imitation cooper discovery oh no it does say cooper i thought it said copper but it is cooper so the Cooper Discover tires, and they're not that bad. They could be a little grippier. Uh, so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there's going to be more coming out for this thing. Um, I am going to be upgrading it. Uh, first thing I want to do with it is definitely boop, give it a lift and put some tires and wheels on this thing and see how well she does. Um, the other thing that I would like to do, which I probably, because I don't want to mess up this body, but the other thing that I might end up doing is probably maybe shortening up the uh, rear bumper 
and just pushing it, tucking it in a little bit more towards the body. That's something that I might end up doing also. Because as I'm looking under here, it looks like it's just two screws. I can trim off a little bit of the uh, step right up here on the bumper and tuck it in a little bit more. Or I just might end up leaving it the way it is and just do the lift and everything on it and leave it as it is. But I do like this truck. It does look great. I do like it. It does look great. And we are definitely going to be doing some upgrades with it. So that is all I got for you, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. You all keep our seeing. Have a good one.